So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. We go inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Hamzat Boris Chibaya. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your arms, and fight. with the uppercut there, just missed, or so it appeared. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? A little single collar tie there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top.
right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly. Because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent, and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing watch. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. to finish here. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flew. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. 